Yo, my name is Benjamin and in this video I'd like to cover some canvas updates that we did to improve your editing experience in Framer, starting with rotation. Notice the cursors and how they don't dynamically match the rotation of the layer, but instead they flash between different increments. Today, our rotation cursors are completely dynamic, even when rotating 3D layers. A lovely little improvement that makes rotation feel much more natural. Next up is the effect edit mode. Before transforms, any effect you would edit would have a fixed bounding box while editing properties, giving you an inaccurate representation and making it harder to design your effects. Today, the effect edit mode gives you a perfect preview, including the bounding box, even when using 3D properties, improving the editing experience of all effects in Framer. Next up is previewing. Notice how my animations will stutter when I first open the preview. And this would happen anytime I make an edit. So if I set the time to something like 4.1 and then go back, Again, all my animations would stutter. Well, now these are completely gone and all of your animations will play seamlessly anytime you open the preview. Next up is automatic nesting. Dragging a layer within a rotated parent layer wouldn't properly nest and unnest the layer. The nesting happens too soon and the unnesting happens too late. Today, our automatic nesting will work perfectly whether your layer is rotated or not. And this will work for both 2D and 3D rotations. Next up, drawing new elements in 3D. Our layout tools like drawing a new frame will now work perfectly even when positioned in 3D space. Plus, we also redesigned our resize cursors to accurately represent the 3D angle in which you're about to drag a layer. Here, notice how the cursor is not perfectly horizontal. Instead, it indicates the angle in 3D in which you're about to resize your layer. And that's pretty much it for this video. We hope these improvements help make your day-to-day -day experience in Framer a little bit better. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more updates coming soon.